Hey guys, it's me, Edward Vane, and for today we are going to compare the Machinic K500 to the Machinic K500W. Alright guys, let's go. Alright guys, let's start with the K500 since I received it first. So as you know, this keyboard costs 2,000 pesos, okay? So it's a 90% mechanical keyboard. Now, I was wondering why is it 90% not 95? Well, it's because there's no, you know, big enter and plus button over here. So it's a keycap shorter than a 95% keyboard. Now, comparing it to other, you know, mechanical keyboards that are wired with a detachable Type-C cable, this one has good weight to it, okay? Now, they gave me the brown switch. Now, I want you to know that I've already modded this keyboard, okay? And based on my experience, you know, you can totally tell the difference between a modded and not modded K500. Talking about the stock switches, or before I modded this thing, this sounds pretty solid. And when I modded this, it got really poppy since I put masking tape to it. And then I also put some PE foam. And I also put some, you know, regular foam at the back so it won't sound that hollow. Okay, so here's a simple sound test. There's just a little rattle in the stock stabilizer. I haven't mounted the spacebar yet. Again, this keyboard also has RGB. Actually, both keyboards do have it. Now, let's take a look at the K500W. Now, from a K500W, as you can see, I believe, you know, the W stands for wireless. So, this is tri-mod. Okay, so it could be wired, it could be Bluetooth, and it could be via dongle as well. Okay, so it's heavier compared to the K500. Now for the spacebar, there's a huge improvement. Again, only stock stabilizers, haven't mounted yet. Pretty solid already. So this one costs 3,000 pesos. So it's 1,000 pesos more than the K500. By the way, here's the dongle. And again, you can turn this thing to Bluetooth or you know via dongle, okay? Uh, 2.4 G, I believe, yes, okay. So there's no delay to this mechanical keyboard at all, okay? So if you guys are planning to have a mechanical keyboard from Machinic, if you guys like, you know, wireless, then go buy the K500, uh, sorry, if you guys want to go wireless, buy the K500W, if not, go for the, go for the, just the plain standard K500. Now, you can actually use this, okay, with a wire, but if you're planning to use it all throughout only with a wire, then just buy this, okay? A fa you can save 1,000 pesos more. But if you really want Bluetooth and you don't like those, you know, cables to show like that, go for the wireless version. Is the 1,000 pesos worth it? Well, it really depends on you, okay? If you don't like the colors of these mechanical keyboards, no problem, just replace the keycaps. These things are also very easy to mode. Both of them are also hot swappable. So it's really up to you if you want to spend 1,000 pesos more for the for the, you know, wireless effect or the tri-mod effect, okay? So these boards have really good sound. Again, we're comparing a brown switch to a red switch. And by the way, here's a simple sound test of the red switch. All right, so that's basically it. Really sensitive red switches. I like them. Not the best red switches that I've tried, but really good. All right, so here is a simple typing test of both of these keyboards. All right, guys, so what do I recommend for you guys? Well, for me, I really want my new setup to be wireless, so I do pick this. Is the 1,000 pesos too much for a slightly upgraded wireless keyboard? Well, like I said, it's up to your budget, but for me, I think they could have just made it, you know, 2,500 instead of 3,000. But the thing is, there is a dongle for you, okay? 
There are some wireless keyboards that adds, you know, only a few pesos for it to be wireless because we're aiming for Bluetooth. This isn't just Bluetooth, this is try mod. So if your PC doesn't have a Bluetooth feature, then you can just use this dongle as well. Okay? So with that said, both are great. It's really up to you if you want wireless or not. And 2,000 to, 3, 2000 to 300 for these boards, they are still considered budget boards. Okay? So once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, again, both are hot swappable, both are RGB, and both are really good or high quality mechanical keyboards from Machinic. Okay, guys, bye!